Welcome to another episode of Saint Vincent and Toll Stories. On this episode, we feature Keith Rand Mills, and we are going to tell you how so much youths from Saint Vincent got an opportunity to join the army. You must have seen it in other newspapers. You must have seen it on other online news sites. Uh, that a British army soldier uh, was caught with a popo in a vehicle. Uh, this is going to be an untold story that you have never heard or seen anywhere else uh, before. Uh, so hold on to your seats. A big upset to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon if you wish to see more videos like uh, this one. Uh, you see, a few years ago in St. Vincent, uh, no one really wanted uh, to join uh, the British Army and uh, the Navy because persons were giving a wrong concept. Uh, they were saying uh, that you might go there and you might not come back as you went. Uh, but one youth uh, that was a police officer in St. Vincent got an opportunity uh, to go in to the British Army and he came back and he bought uh, vans and he built house and uh, so forth. And the ghetto youth started to get inspired by that. Uh, you see, when I tell you uh, that uh, jobs are not in St. Vincent like uh, that, uh, there are some persons who think uh, that you are telling the wider world that we are under extreme poverty and untold stories must not uh, do that. But extreme poverty was in a long time now. The youths couldn't find any job. Uh, so they started to migrate into the British Army and the Royal Navy. When I tell you youths, I'm talking about youths from the St. Vincent Grammar School, youths from St. Martin and other secondary schools, around even youths that went to community college and to the universities. I remember I told you, uh, that the persons uh, should not uh, be jealous of uh, the military men because when they are out uh, there, they work extremely hard. You see, persons think uh, that everyone uh, that goes out there is on the front line, but uh, they are actually not. Uh, they are those guys who pack up the ammunition. They are those guys who build bridges. Yes, man, I am telling you that some persons are working construction and in uh, the army and they are called engineers and so forth. Uh, so it is alleged uh, that at the time uh, that Mills applied uh, to join uh, the army, that uh, the other areas were filled, like uh, the part where they put the guards, uh, the part where they put the workers in the storeroom, and uh, the part where the engineers work. Uh, those uh, departments were already filled. Uh, so only the infantry part was open, and Mills got an opportunity, and he took it. Uh, so Mills got an opportunity, and from the time he arrived in England, and uh, they said that he received this for his uh, pay, he made sure that he sent some money home uh, to his mom and his family. Uh, so he became like uh, the tower uh, for the family, or uh, what you say, the foundation. It is alleged uh, that just before Mills came home this last time, that he sent uh, some boxes, and uh, some nosy people were like, Oh, those boxes are too big. Why is he sending those big boxes for his sisters? You know, uh, that is what you call uh, jealousy. That is what you call envy. A youth goes out as uh, and he sends some boxes home to his uh, family because he knows that time is hard and uh, they would need those stuff and there are people sitting uh, with envy in their heart. It is also alleged uh, that Mills came up with a plan. Uh, to do some business to make sure uh, that his siblings are employed. Yes, man. They said uh, that Mills brought in a lot of Adidas as slipper, and most persons were selling them for $140, $130, and Mills uh, decided uh, to sell his uh, slippers for $120, $100, and so forth, and they were cheaper, and they started to sell like hot butter loaves. Uh, so once again, a person started to get jealous of other you. It is also alleged that when Mills came home, he decided to rent an apartment at Chester Cottage and he took a rental and so forth. You know, thing, uh, people get jealous when you start to upgrade, you know, you're not in the same league anymore, you know. You are out in England, you get accustomed to a little hot and cold show and you might not have that at your yard. Uh, so, you decide now that you might want your girlfriend to come there and you might want her to be very comfortable and whenever your mom comes over you want to show her a better life. A person think that, oh, you get her show self so you don't go home, but Mills was going home. Uh, you see, some persons don't understand 
why persons have decided to work hard is because when they are old and they are retired, they want to live comfortably. They don't want the rain to wet them. Uh, they don't want uh, to go in these latrines anymore. They want to be comfortable. They want to know that when they get sick, uh, they can go into a suitable bathroom. It is like one time uh, they said uh, that a white woman came uh, to you in an island and she went uh, by a man. And when she decided uh, to ask where the bathroom was and she went in and so forth. Mahogany board started to fly left, right and centre and talking about La Cacarocha, the big one. And one crawled upon the woman leg and the woman said, no, sir, I can't take her this. Uh, far I, we need her to evacuate immediately. We need to rent somewhere proper. And I am not as disrespecting your place. It is alleged uh, that an old guy uh, from the community where Mills was from uh, made a report uh, that someone was beating off a popo at a lonely road. And he made a phone call and gave a description. And he said uh, that uh, the only vehicle he saw was that of Mills. Uh, you see, uh, the man didn't say that he saw Mills beat off the popo, you know. He said uh, that he saw a vehicle. So it could be uh, that someone was in the bushes beating off uh, the popo and Mills passed at uh, the same time with uh, the vehicle. It doesn't mean that he was the one beating off the popo. Uh, so, as uh, the police said, uh, they got some information and they acted on uh, that information. So, they was looking uh, to apprehend Mills all the time. But it is alleged that he went to a show and when he came up uh, the next uh, morning, he dropped off some individuals, uh, some occupants that were in uh, the vehicle as well. Uh, you see, uh, Mills is one of those persons that would be driving and just stop at your foot and offer you a ride. Uh, because you see, Mills knows where he's coming from and he's trying to inspire ghetto youth. He's trying to say, look, you can have uh, this too if you walk uh, towards it. It is alleged uh, that it was a Sunday morning and Mills was cruising along and uh, the police flagged down uh, the vehicle that Mills was driving and uh, they said uh, that uh, they found a popo inside uh, the vehicle. Uh, they said uh, that Mills was taken into custody and he did not own uh, the popo. Uh, they also said uh, that his family came down to see him, uh, but uh, they only gave one of his grandmothers that opportunity. It is also alleged uh, that family members uh, fainted on the ground. They couldn't believe that that was happening. Because remember I told you uh, that Mills was a breadwinner uh, when uh, the news uh, broke. Remember it was on a Sunday, so it began uh, to go slowly. And then it spread out. And the person started to say they don't believe that the Pope belong to Mills. They believe that someone put it there. Have you ever watched uh, Border Wars? Have you ever watched uh, Force 40? You see, if uh, they catch you inside a vehicle and you are the lone occupant and anything like substance or a popo is uh, found inside of the vehicle, they will want to pin it on you. Then don't you watch what happened uh, to Tamil Spartan, uh, that uh, singer from Jamaica? Uh, did you ever watch or studied uh, the life of a notorious uh, B.I.G.? Yes, sir, man, when Biggie Smalls just started to run, uh, Biggie Smalls and another friend was as uh, a lone occupant inside of a vehicle and a popo was found uh, by the police and the police decided as uh, they are going to charge Mr. Smalls and his friend. But you know, uh, Biggie Smalls was on the rise at the time his music started to beat us on airways across America. Uh, so the friend decided, you know what, I am going to take other rap for the popo because right now uh, my friend is on the rise and he can help out as an entire ghetto and he will be able to help me out when I come outside. And you know that friend took other rap for that popo and Biggie Smalls went out and he did his thing and uh, made an album and uh, the album began to sell and he put aside some money for when that friend came out of prison and while that friend was in prison, Biggie Smalls took care of him. Uh, that is what you call a true definition of what a friendship is. How many friends would put uh, themselves on another line uh, to save another? Uh, you see, uh, Mills was taken uh, to court and he pled as not guilty. And uh, the court as uh, it was extended and uh, Mills was given bail. It is said uh, that Mills was represented uh, by a lawyer. Uh, they also alleged uh, that a white man came down uh, from out of the military. 
And he told the court that Mills was an outstanding officer, that he saw Mills as a future leader. He stood out amongst uh, the rest. Uh, you know, in a case like uh, this, uh, persons would blame uh, the prosecutor. But let me show you how the prosecutor did an excellent uh, job. The prosecutor said that every week uh, there is a case uh, pertaining uh, to the use of a popo, and he was uh, saying... Uh, that too many popo are on the streets of St. Vincent and the Grenadines right and now. And uh, that Mills uh, should have set an example. Uh, he also played on the fact uh, that every action has its consequences. And all uh, the council representing Mills uh, sat uh, there and said was things about Mills' character. How can that uh, save the man? You as a council need uh, to prove uh, to the court uh, beyond reasonable doubt uh, that uh, the popo does not uh, belong to Mills. And even though the popo belonged uh, to him, the reason why he had it on him at other said uh, time. Uh, the council said uh, things like uh, Mills have a young child uh, that is about five years old and he has one on the way. Uh, so the prosecutor played on that again and said uh, that persons are coming uh, before the court always saying uh, that they have young child or unborn child. I am not a lawyer, and I did not study law. But you see, if I was Miller's counsel, I would have put my client and sit down and say, look, we have uh, two options. It is either you plead guilty up front because they found uh, the popo inside the vehicle and you were the lone occupant. Uh, so no matter what you do, they would still say that the popo belongs uh, to you. But if you plead guilty up front, you would get a discount of uh, the sentence. And when the white man comes down from the military and he says certain thing about your character background, that would be even better. Uh, the magistrate might even give you a suspended sentence and charge you a fine. Uh, but you see, uh, because he did not plead guilty at the first opportunity, they might uh, think, oh, you are taking us to a full trial, so that means you are wasting the court uh, time and knows that you are the lone occupant of that vehicle. Uh, secondly, uh, the counsel should have tried uh, to prove uh, beyond reasonable doubt uh, that someone placed uh, that popo inside of the vehicle or try to prove uh, the reason why uh, Mills had uh, the popo on him was to protect himself because of what is going on right now in St. Vincent. He could have even brought back the thing that Kevin Little said uh, that uh, persons were afraid even to walk out at night because of the series of things that has been going on and bring forward the reports that were made in the newspapers bring out a lot of news articles and say my worship this is what is going on right and now as the counselor sat there and he did not even ask the officers simple things like if other read uh, mr mills's rights and so forth he did not even ask if Mills' uh, fingerprints was on uh, the popo. And uh, now you are going to see. Every minute a person run for Grant Canal. They run for Ronald Marx. They run for Zeta Barnwell. Uh, they run for Israel Bruce. They run to retain those uh, type of counselors like Jomo Thomas. Uh, you see it is because a person know that uh, they are getting uh, their money's worth. Uh, so you want to tell me. That uh, that council could not call like an indoor meeting with uh, the prosecutor and uh, the magistrate so that Mills could have taken a deal even though uh, that he was uh, discharged uh, from the military. That they could have said, you know what, uh, this young man is an outstanding individual from what uh, the white man came down and said. And uh, we need uh, to give him something like a suspended sentence instead of sending him uh, behind bars uh, to sit uh, there for a while. Uh, the record was there to show that he's a first time offend. No one ever made any report uh, that the guy robbed anyone. No one ever said uh, that he's a bad man in the street. Or anything like that. Uh, you see sometimes a lot of cases come up. And uh, sometimes when you read uh, the facts behind uh, these cases. You might say. Why is the reason why that guy paid that lawyer 10000 Why is the reason why they paid uh, $20,000? It is better that guy held on to his money. And went into the court and defend himself. And had his money uh, to spend when he's a free man. A uh, male was given a sentence of two years and eight months. Uh, you see, when the sentence was handed down, persons fainted again. The entire community where Mills uh, is from went into shock because they could not believe uh, that he got uh, so much uh, time. It is so unfortunate uh, that something like uh, this happened. Because I am telling you that at untold stories, we know uh, that Mills is an outstanding individual as well. What uh, Mills can basically do is to up 
appeal as a sentence and retain a different counsel. But we know how it goes in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. By the time Mills might be ready to make us that appeal, he might have already done one year plus already. Uh, you see, it is because of the way the matter was dealt with up front, you know. If uh, the family was given an opportunity early uh, to speak with Mills when he was first arrested, they would have already contacted uh, the military personnel to come down uh, to try and get uh, Mills off. Uh, but uh, the officer did not allow uh, the family members to see him. Uh, personally, at untold stories, we know that Mills was such a good guy in uh, the streets. Uh, that even if he's behind bars, he would be well taken care of. Uh, with uh, that being said, I just want to big up the entire population in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the regional islands and the international countries who are supporting and praying for us during these difficult times. We thank you. And you see that we are living in extremely difficult times. Uh, the story with Mills is one that untold stories uh, never dreamed in a million years uh, to tell. Uh, we know that right now Mr. Mills might be going through a tougher time because he never dreamed as well in a million years uh, that something like this could happen. Uh, just pray my brother, very soon you would be out again.